Hello, Frank Romero here, and today is Tuesday, January 15th, which means that I'm done. My juice fast is complete. 14 days, two weeks, nothing but juice. And you know what? I feel amazing. This is the lightest I've felt in a long time. Uh, I can't even tell you the last time I felt this light. Um, I weighed myself this morning. The scale said one thing, but the way that I feel right now is completely different. It's got to be at least 10 years since I felt this light. If you've been keeping track, and if you do the math, I started off at 216.2. That is a 17.4 pound loss. Now this is not about weight loss, but those numbers, they don't lie. I say that it's not about weight loss because that wasn't my intent in doing the fast. I knew that I was going to lose weight just because there was weight that needs to be lost. And I still have a significant amount of weight that needs to be lost. But I don't have an end goal or an end weight in mind. You know, if it's 185 and I feel great about where my physique is, then that's the number. If it's 175, so be it. But I know where my body should be. And right where it is right now, though it is a lot better than it was, it is not where I need to be. I still have a lot of work to do. I'm not trying to get fixated with the number on the scale. Again, it's about how I feel inside and how I feel right now is great. I'm a little tired because it was a long day at work, but inside I feel amazing. I can do things today that I couldn't do a year ago. And had you even asked me to do some of the things that I'm doing now, I would have laughed at you. No, you know what? I wouldn't have laughed at you. What I would have done is made some excuse of why I couldn't do it. A friend of mine would have asked me to go out for a long run and I would have made the excuse of, oh, my allergies are acting up or, you know, I feel like I could get a better workout on a treadmill. And now if someone were to ask me, would you rather run in the snow or in a downpour or on a treadmill? I would pick the downpour. I don't care how cold it is or how rainy it is or how snowing it is. I would rather that. Um, being outside in the elements, being active, and just enjoying everything there is about running, cycling, lifting, uh, just being active. All those things are the reason why I'm, I'm so happy right now. 198, it's a good number from where I was. I've lost 80 pounds. I, I guess when I was my fittest, had someone told me that I would have been 80 pounds heavier than I am right now, I would have laughed at them. But now I'm looking in the mirror, I'm, I'm recording these videos, and when I look back, I can't believe that I've lost 80 pounds. Now, did it take some sacrifice? I guess it did. It did take some sacrifice. You know, yesterday I kept referring to um, eating healthy and being active as easy. It is easy to do. But now that I think about it, I guess doing nothing is easier. Just sitting on the couch, you know, watching movie after movie after movie, um, you know, playing video games watching football, eating wings and burgers and pizza and chips and chocolate, all those things, I guess there comes a, an ease to it. it. It is a little easy to do. Regaining my health, and I'm not 100% there, but I feel like I, I, I could see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. You know, I, I set a small goal. It's 2013. And my first goal of 2013 was to complete a two-week 
for a 14 day juice fast. And I've done it. First goal of 2013, check. I've set some other goals for myself that are not just nutrition based goals. I wanted to log 100 miles this month. I knew it was going to be challenging because I was going to be so restricted in my calories. But I have half of a month left to hit that goal. And I, I, I believe I can hit it. There is no reason why I can't hit it. Now I can make excuses. I can say that, just like right now, I could say that I'm tired or that I have too much going on, or that I need to do X, Y, and Z. But if I really wanted to hit that goal, I wouldn't let anything else stand in the way of hitting that goal. My goal for January 2013 was to complete a two-week juice fast, to walk or run 100 miles, and to complete 15 CrossFit workouts. In hindsight, it was probably a little bit much considering that I was restricting my calories in the beginning of the of this juice fast with the mean green juice. And that hurt logging the miles and putting in the, um, the CrossFit workouts. I'm no longer going to record a daily video. It's probably going to be at least once a week to give you a status update of where I'm at. I also want to record some more juicing and smoothie recipes. And once I feel more comfortable in my ability to share the knowledge that I have about fitness, I'd like to throw that into the mix as well. I didn't even tell you what I had today. And that's for breakfast, I had a dates and banana blast. For lunch... I had the ABC, and for dinner, oh yeah, I get to eat my dinner. I'm going to have a nice watermelon with lemon. I know it doesn't sound too exciting for some, but look, if you haven't actually chewed your food in two weeks, the, the thought of watermelon and lemon is, is an exciting proposition, so I'm excited. So what about tomorrow? I'm not going to wake up in the morning and drive to Dunkin' Donuts or McDonald's for breakfast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to juice my breakfast as I've done the last 14 days. And for lunch, I'm probably going to have another juice for lunch. But maybe I can snack on something with a, a little bit more substance. I'll probably bring an apple and some berries. And for dinner, well, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner yet. Um, it'd be nice to have dinner with my family. I haven't actually sat down to have dinner with them in a while. Maybe some steamed vegetables. That sounds like a good idea. So for now, I have a game plan for tomorrow. And that's what I need to do. Every day, have a game plan for the next day. I understand that. I am now living a healthy lifestyle, healthier lifestyle. I'm not going to be 100% vegan. I like my leather shoes. I like my leather gloves. I know it may make me a bad person to some of you, uh, but you know I do like some products that are made out of animal. As far as consuming, digesting animal product? I'll say that I'm 90% vegan. And that's my goal. So I have some small goals and I'll continue to build on my small goals. But my big goal for 2013 is to be 90% vegan. And someone out there is probably thinking 90% vegan. Click. I know. It's... It seems like it's something traumatic, but it really isn't. So I'm a data guy. The numbers talk to me. So let's talk about some numbers. If I had breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, 
and dinner, that's five meals a day. Most of you probably have more than that. But just for easy math, let's just say five meals. You do that for seven days. That's 35 meals. Now, to be 90% vegan, all I have to do is eat whatever I want if I'm at a social event or if I'm having a dinner with my family. I could do that three and a half times. Let's just say four. So four times a week, you can have whatever you want. The other days, fruits and vegetables. That's it. How hard? That, that doesn't even seem hard. I mean, especially after only having fruits and vegetables for two weeks. To say that you can have whatever you want for four meals. But do I really want to have whatever I want? Yeah, I think I do. Because what I want is something that's healthy and nutritious. And if I wanted to splurge, and I wanted to have, and I'm not a beer drinker, but say if I wanted to have a beer, I'm not talking about one beer or I have to put points on a scale or something crazy like that. No. If I wanted to go out on a Friday night and have a couple beers, and that be my instance of unhealthiness, okay, that's my choice. It's not what I'm going to do, but what I'm saying is 90% is realistic. 100% is daunting. 90% is doable. You have a big date, anniversary, a birthday party, you know, a honeymoon or vacation, a, a major event, a wedding. You don't have to be the social outcast. You don't have to go all out and eat, you know, a hundred wings to prove something. But in that environment, you don't have to bring your juice. You could probably recommend that you do. But if you want to splurge, go for it. That's what I'm going to do. My game plan is to be 90% vegan. When it comes to nutrition, <laughs> I'm going to be 90% vegan for 2013. I have a lot of goals for 2013. And that's just one of them. 90%. I can do 90%. Can you do 90%? I'm not telling you to grab your burger and never have another cheeseburger in your life. 90%. Have a burger. Have two burgers. Have a burger on Friday night and then another burger on Tuesday night. Guess what? 90%. For any of you that are juicing or are interested in juicing, you know, let's, let's do this. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll do another juice fast this year, but if I do, it won't be until uh, later in the year, uh, far down the road. Now, please don't get emotional on me. Fight back the tears. I'm not going to make a video again until next week. And I just will provide some update. So on a weekly basis, I'll just report on some of the things that I've gone through. And in between, if I have any time, I'll definitely... Uh, post some more videos. If you've been following me through this last uh, 14 days, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, where have you been? <laughs> uh, check out some of my previous videos. Um, you'll see exactly where I've come from, uh, why I'm even doing this. And uh, there's you know a couple recipes out there, my favorite ones. Uh, there's more to come. Uh, so please subscribe 
Again, thank you so much for your support. Everyone that's been commenting, uh, I feel amazing. Um, I know a lot of you are, are seeing some changes already in yourself. So, uh, you know, keep doing what you're doing. If, if there's anything that I can do to, to help you along your, your journey, just let me know. Okay, that's it. Hi, everyone. Daddy did it. What did I do? You don't know? Oh, man. Daddy hit his goal. Daddy hit his goal. I did? What was my goal? You don't know? Daddy's goal was to stick around longer for you, okay? Stick around longer for me. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Oh, don't tell them you love me. Tell me you love me. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. All right. Um, thank you for watching. Say bye. Bye. We'll see you. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. Take care.